one's yours first. That one? Yeah. the mobile app version would need an update. Well, let me get that going then real quick. Definitely tutorial. Oh, that was quick. Downloaded it right away. Cool. Coo coo ka choo. Game's quiet as shit. Okay. Good day, Madam President. I am Veer, a prototype synthetic intelligence. My job is to offer advice and assistance as we seek our destiny among the stars. Tell me everything. An excellent decision. You will have my full support. Good, I need it. Researching new technologies will be critical to our success. I tell you this not merely as a product of unfettered technological progress, but as your trusted advisor and, I suspect, your only true friend. <laughs> They got jokes. They got jokes. It's weird that I have to rotate the tablet sideways and then back to normal. There's so much already built and done and whatnot. Okay, press down. The alerts panel is where we will see all incoming notifications or points of interest. Whether you choose to address these alerts is entirely up to you. Okay, so do pet down. Hold on. So what's it automatically selecting? Select any type of research alert using A. The technology screen is where we will be directing our research efforts. Technologies are categorized into three different fields. I remember this. With each field typically having three available research options. Okay. 
research labs, auto research technologies. Allows automatic picking of next research option. Oh, that's researched. And then I have a cost amount. How much of blue technology do I have? Physics. The relics screen allows us to view and activate our relics, and also to enact decisions making use of minor artifacts. All right, doesn't read it all. Decisions marked with planetary decisions are shown here only for reference and can instead be enacted on a plant's decision screen. Okay. Maybe it takes that much to build it up. Sure, why not? I'll just do that one. It's just the tutorial. Are we already learning something? Oh, is that just their benefit? No, they are researching those things. Okay. Unlocks building stronghold. Planetary defense. There may come a time when intellects vast and cool and unsympathetic regard our worlds with envy and draw plans against us. We may be ready. So, okay, so it's like a bunker then. Offworld trade companies or biodiversity studies. Ooh, studying the different forms of life that appear in our world helps us better understand ourselves and the life that surrounds us. And then engineering. This is all hypothetical. It's all training. So, I mean, uh, minerals. I know that minerals is really good. Did you know? Once these technologies... Once these technologies are inevitably researched, we must ensure our continued progress by settling new challenge, setting new challenges for our... There is scientists. something that you perhaps didn't know. Before we can begin to explore the galaxy, we must first unpause the game. We need to change the gameplay speed by toggling Y between pause and play at any time. You can toggle between pause and play at any time during the game. Holding down the button will change game speeds. Could I have a moment of your time? Speed up and slow down the passage of time, and don't be afraid to pause when events become too hectic. You can control when the game auto-pauses in the settings menu. Did you know? There was a couple of those settings I didn't read. If you press OK, do you move past it? From the system viewer galaxy map, press and hold RT to zoom in, L to move, R to tilt, LT to zoom out. What does it say? Oh, Alpha Centauri? Yeah, Alpha Centauri. Okay, yep, zoom a Rooney. Researchers. How do I get to my... The Empire Management menu will help you manage our empire as you grow. Each menu provides information on specific aspects of our empire, giving you options for actions and improvements. Well, that's cool. It literally has the different soundtracks here. Oh, that's really cool. So if you like one, you can just have it set on loop, or if you don't like some, you can exclude them. That's cool. This is the one it usually is. Is it random? Anyways, I was going to turn the music down, actually. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
show information regarding... Ooh, that stream bar is almost blocking anything and everything, no matter what I do. Technologies, okay, yep. I remember that much the situation, situation log. log displays a list of all currently available special projects, archaeology sites, and various other points of interest. New items will likely appear as we begin exploring the galaxy. President Dolores was elected on a platform of constructing at least two additional agricultural districts. Cosmography. Society, people, fleets and ships, galactic community, federation war, claims, and map modes. Okay. The government screen <clears throat> presents us with information regarding our empire and its government. Here we can see our ruler and any related effects. Empire, reform government. Reform empire to use another government type. This government is a representative democracy. Prosperous unification. Through strife and triumphs, this society has reached every young civilization's ambitions. A home world with a unified goals and a path to open the stars. So it's just like a, a specific trait or perk. Remember to hydrate the H2O, though, bro. Okay. Diplomatic weight. That's how much influence you have. I remember that much. Democratic. Civics. Governing ethics. Xenophile. Does that mean they don't like aliens? Increased opinion for other species. Cannot use refuge. Cannot use no refugees species policy. No, xenophile? That means you like them. There exists in all of us a deep seated fascination. There exists in all of us a deep seated fascination for the unknown. An adventurous spirit that rejects the familiar and glorious in the unfamiliar, whatever or whomever it may be. Okay, yeah, Xenophile's good. That means they like aliens. Space Miner, Warlike, okay. In the contact screen, we see a detailed list of all the various em- That's us. No espionage, no agreements. I have important information for you. The victory no screen lists certain conditions that we can strive to fulfill. To ensure that the legacy of our star nation will endure for as long as there cool. is intelligent life in the galaxy. Oh yeah, our score of how close it is to victory. That's right. Technologies, the market, market screen, yep, we yep. can buy and sell resources. At first, this is merely an internal market. But if enough empires establish contact, I expect they might form some sort of galactic market. Resources can be bought and sold using the appropriate buttons here, but be aware that buying or selling a resource will raise or lower the price of that resource respectively. Yep, yep, yep. You keep buying it, it's going to not give you as much money as monthly. Automatic trade deals can also be set up in the section to the right. Auto trades, and then the terrible slave market if you're one of those spacefaring civilizations. The tradition Society. screen displays the tradition trees available to our empire. A tradition tree must first be adopted before any traditions within it can be unlocked. The tradition tr the tradition screen displays the tradition trees available for empire. The tradition tree must first be adopted before any traditions within it can be unlocked. Adopting a tradition tree or unlocking a specific tradition costs a certain amount of unity. The price goes up as we unlock traditions and our empire grows. Okay, yep, yep, yep. And the ascension perks, cool beans. The leaders tab lets us hire, dismiss, yep, yep. and assign idle governors, scientists, admirals, and generals. And you can recruit new leaders by selecting recruit new leader. 
Okay. Shows what they're doing. So he's a captain? Busy commanding. I guess that's... Where's the captain symbol? Because that's just their perk. I guess you just look at them and you're, you're supposed to kind of figure it out, see what it says they're doing. All the right. The screen gives an overview of the populace's political the actions. Limits. Be aware that shifts in the social political climate may give rise to factions. Details on faction sizes, attractiveness to our pops, and how content they are can also be found here. Okay. Factions have issues that are important to their overall happiness, and our policies and actions as a nation may displease or please these groupings, potentially providing a boost to influence generation. We may also manage factions to manipulate the relationship between a faction and the state, even going so far as to, as far as embracing the e ethos of a strong faction. When you're a governmental force, okay. Hmm. The species screen lists kind of the types that. of nominally intelligent beings we have encountered. We can toggle species to display only citizens of our empire or all known denizens of the galaxy. Okay. Within the appropriate technology, we can modify the traits of species or uplift pre-sentient creatures. We can also set default rights for all of our pops or set rights per species for our citizens. With appropriate technology, we can modify the traits of species or uplift pre-sentient creatures. We can also set default rights for our people, populations, and set rights per species for our citizens. Okay, okay, now I understand. In the fleet, fleet manager, ships. we can create templates for our military fleets. As our fleets grow in size, these templates make it easier to quickly order replacements for any losses they may have sustained. Okay. Add ship design to fleet. This is the only one I have is a Corvette. Hmm. The maximum fleet size of any individual fleet depends on our Empire's command unit. So, as in, I can't make this one larger than. Convert into mercenary enclave. This converts this fleet into a mercenary enclave. We will lose control of the fleet. Interesting. Through the claims interface, we can spend influence to lay claim to star systems owned by others. Having a claim on a system gives us a valid casus belly against the owner allowing us to declare war for the purpose of conquering it. In wars involving multiple allies, the Empire with the highest claim on a system will be the one gaining ownership upon successful conclusion of the war. Don't show again. Alright. Trade routes map mode. As our empire grows, trade between our planets will become an increasingly large part of our economy. Star bases with trade hubs collect trade value within their system to be rooted That's the right. for conversion to energy credits. Yeah, 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 that's right. So Soul is the only one with anything in it currently. 
Did you know? All right, Mr. Demille, I'm ready for my close-up. Building a star empire can be a daunting task. To help get okay. things started, I will be providing instructional missions that cover the basic steps necessary to establish ourselves as a successful interstellar power. Let's go. Press right stick to open galaxy map. Cool. The outliner is where we can view our planets, military fleets, civilian ships, and other assets owned by our empire. This is where you'll be commanding your ships through research, expansion, and war. Deep head right to access the outliner. Okay, that is so it's not accessing it right now. Deep head right now over here. buildings. Alright. Select a science ship. This is our science ship, which is used to survey astronomical objects such as planets in a star system. A that's planet right, needs that's to be scouts. in order to make its resources visible. Yup, yup, yup. Make sure audio is still, yeah, audio is golden. It's a crappy planet, I'm pretty sure. Or it's a barely hospitable. Let's try this way. Just survey. And then... Repair and military, I don't need those two. Go back. Play. To overcome the vast distances that separate star systems, our scientists have developed the hyperdrive. This device permits travel at speeds far exceeding that of light between systems connected by hyperlanes. Travel along a hyperlane is extremely fast, but interstellar movement is restricted along the paths of the galactic hyperlanes network. Safely entering the hyperspace is only possible at the edge of a system beyond the destabilizing effect of the star's gravity well. Okay, the science ship will now return to the star system survey all bodies within. You can follow its progress with. I have important information. Uh, he's not moving. Tutorials can be activated or deactivated anytime in the settings menu. You can access settings, yep. Well, there he is. found. Well, I'll be danged. Alright, the ship will resume its previous actions when done. The level of anomaly reflects the expected complexity of researching it. The assigned scientist's relative skill level determines how long it will take them to research the anomaly. So that's right, it's not if you can or cannot, it is simply doing it, but for how long? A small cargo pod has been left to drift in space above this gas giant. It has been captured by the planet's gravity well. It will eventually be pulled into its atmosphere. Research. And deep head down. 
Alerts. D-pad down. Haha. -ha. Panel is where we will see all incoming notifications or points of interest. Whether you choose to address these alerts is entirely up to you. Anomaly is being researched. Traditions available. We have enough unity to adopt a new tradition. Overview? Okay, so overview literally. Um, any of these? Are they all the same stuff? It just depends on... Yeah, yeah. Mercantile, prosperity, supremacy. Okay, so it's whichever ones I want to get first. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, all of them are locked. It's the one I want to unlock. Yeah, adopt a new tradition. I would say so. Adaptability. Adapt is to survive and surpass. Population, housing, usage, minus 10%. Adopting all adaptability traditions will grant the following additional effects. That's all of them. I won't be here this long for all of them in the tutorial, so I'm not too worried about that. Wow, okay. Adaptability, diplomacy, discovery. The surest way to destroy your enemies is to make them your friends. Oh, oh, that's diplomacy right there. To adapt is to survive. Those are all finisher effects? Holy shit. So it's mostly just the adoption effects right there. Pop housing. Diplomatic grants. Diplomatic influence cost reduced by 50%. That is pretty dang good. Discovery unlocks edict or edict. Edict? Or is it edict? I think it's an edict. Map the stars anomaly research speed. Increased by 20%. Ooh. That's good. Okay, yeah, no. I learned before the first time I played that I need to expand, expand, expand. I'll probably do discovery. Domination. Clear blocker cost 33. That is pretty good. Expansion. Wait, this first is discovery. Colony development speed plus 25, which is good. Harmony. I'm pretty sure this is the one I did. Pop food and mineral upkeep minus 10%. Three things can match the strength of a content populace working towards a common goal. Okay, so. Minion, clear blocker, colony development speed, that's pretty good too. That's expansion, okay. Harmony, pop food, mineral, minus 10 each, yeah. Trade, protection plus five, and then collection range is gonna be plus one. Ooh, that's not bad. Mining station output, oh, I mean, that's that one's huge. Supremacy, naval capacity, and army damage. That's later on. So, discovery and then prosperity. Can I not? Oh, it's locked. Okay. chill okay <clears throat> discarded cargo pod was left by someone in the upper atmosphere of alpha centauri b3 long ago it has somehow escaped the notice of other spacefarers and its decaying orbit and its decaying orbit means it would have been lost in the gas giant's crushing atmosphere within another few years when the crew of the uns nobel noble unsealed the pod they found a stash of alien jewelry made out of precious metals 103 alloy game. That's good. Oh, cool. Melt them down. Get energy credits. Holy shit, that's a lot. That's a lot of energy credits, I'm pretty dang sure. Ooh, and then society research gained. Um, tip to do this one. Contact report remnants. 
Human xenologists are practically falling over themselves to, to publish their takes on the recent findings of alien life. This fevered storm in the scientific community has seen some negative yet temporary impact on pursuits in other fields. Remarkable! Okay. A recent encounter with alien life forms has reignited and made suddenly more urgent the old debate of how we should approach contacting any potential intelligent alien civilizations that we may meet. While some advocates focusing on establishing friendly relations as quickly as possible by contacting them with a message of peace, others advise caution, pointing out that we cannot know whether alien minds bear ill intents towards us, and it would be unwise to let them know too much about us before it is necessary. Open arms, be wise, be cautious. First contact target difficulty? Other nations will find it harder to establish communications with us. I'm going to say with open arms. Our science ship scans the surface of Alpha Centauri B2. It becomes quite clear that we have found something out of the ordinary. Ooh, Alpha Centauri B2 has conditions like anything we've seen before. We will surely come across even more irregularities like this as we survey new planets and should not underestimate their impact on our expression. Intriguing. Terraforming candidate discovered. Alpha Centauri B2 will be able to climb it. Will be able to be terraformed once the climate restoration technology has been researched. Fascinating. About to grab a drink though. I'm dying. Okay, I need a drink and my water's almost out too. Like, I'm gonna make an energy water and then I'll save why not. And then also fill my canteen. Okay, I'll be right back.
All right. Traditions available. Databank uplinks, boop, 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 boo, unlocks edict. Research station outpost, 20%. Research from Starbase Constructions. Hold on. Research Station Output. 20%. Then Research from Starbase Constructions. Increased by 20%. Hmm. Then I could unlock one of the other ones right off the bat. The mining one? Mining station output, yeah. Oh, I don't even have these two selected at first. Oops. I thought I had the very first two. Oh, do you want to sit with Papa? Let me lower the chair for you. It's my baby. Okay, well, there that goes. Then I'll start specking into those trees. Anomaly found. Research one day. My microphone's popping. Make sure it still sounds good over here. Should be good to go. I think it was just being weird. Oh, hey, cutie. All right. Oh, that is the anomaly. Okay. Skill from one rank to rank two. Completely leveled. A thorough geological survey of Alpha Centauri 3 by the UNS Noble reveals nothing of interest. In fact, it is extraordinarily uninteresting. The only defining feature is its lack of defining features. There are depressions and elevations yet, but on the whole, yes, but on the whole of the surface of Alpha Centauri 3, but on the whole, the surface of Alpha Centauri 3 can be regarded as unnaturally flat. Likewise, the native flora and fauna are strikingly docile and unworthy of attention. That's good. The Voltum Star Assembly. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Alpha Centauri 5. They must have been active in this region of space approximately 12 million years ago, judging by the age of the artifacts. From what they have been able to piece together, our scientists theorize that these aliens, who called themselves the Voltum Star Assembly, were worm-like alien... Analids? Analids? Analids. Roughly 3 to 4 meters in length, that communicated with each other primarily through vibrations carried along their segmented bodies. Interesting. Situation log updated. <clears throat> no, wait. Oh, I'm a goober because they're the two that I can select. They're not picked. They're of the two that I can pick. I'm a goober. Research alternatives increased by one and science level cap increased by two. Survey speed increased by 35%? Hands down, I don't even need to read the rest of them.
Well done. The first survey of a star system beyond our own has been completed. We now have access to planetary data that the astronomers on our home world could only dream of a mere generation ago. Awesome. Now that we have begun exploring our neighboring stars, it might be time to extend our reach. A star base can be built around stars in surveyed systems to expand our borders, allowing us to claim new regions of space. space. With future technologies, star bases can be upgraded to provide, produce, ships or other resources. Yep, yep, for now, their main benefit lies in extending our borders. Then, when we have claimed a system with a star base, we can build a research and mining outpost or mining stations to exploit its resources or colonize any habitable planets, worlds. All right. Agree. Pause. Down. Select a construction ship. This is our construction ship, which is used to construct space stations. When an astronomical cool. object, such as a planet, has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research station or a mining station to exploit any resources it may have. The ships are also used to build star bases and unclaimed systems, making them critical to expand our to our expansion plans. Don't I have to literally point it at the sun? Build star base. How do I cancel that order? Disband? No. Stop and remove all actions from sector fleet. Okay. See actions? Does that not let me see actions then? Guessing not. Build star base. Select a construction ship. Oops. A galaxy map. Build star base. Okay, they wanted me to do it like that from the, the back view. I mean, either or. Unlike other stations, star bases will cost influence. Okay, this was the thing that held me back before, is I needed more influence. Star bases will cost influence. However, by strategically placing outposts, you can increase our territory size and access to resources. Gained a level, Governor Governor Yuzu. Whatever the diggy trade is, alright. I'm actually remembering a lot of this stuff, but I still needed the refresher for sure. Yeah, yeah and that's all the influence I have right now. Okay. <laughs> See Mississippi completed the construction of a starbase in orbit of complete. Alpha Centauri 8. 
The resources generated by our home world will only take us so far. Luckily, our science ship has just found a resource deposit on another world. The time has come yeah, to use our construction ship to build a mining station. Mining stations can be built within our <clears throat> within our borders and automatically collect minerals and any strategic resources found on the bodies they orbit. Keep in mind that they have an energy credit maintenance cost. Okay. Dude, they're getting hella affinity. The policies tab covers government policies, which have wide-ranging effects on how our empire is run. Oh crap, that's right. Expansionist. Border friction 100%. Oh wow. Isolationist, cooperative, belligerent. This empire will attempt to bully weaker empires into submission at their will. All right. Here, empire the edicts. edicts. Practices that can be enforced by spending some of our resources can be enacted. Fortify the border. Encourage political thought or map the stars. This edict pushes for further galactic exploration to bring light. See, that'd be good for when you're in the beginning. Like, you really want to do that if you could right off the bat. Hey, it's not going to hurt your cost. We're spending that. Alright, so. I mean, right off the bat, I was mostly wanting the adoption, adoption effect, but both of them are good. These credit drains must be plugged. Building upkeep and district upkeep reduced by 10%. Buildings and districts have their build costs reduced by 10%. So I'm going to wait on those. Those aren't really the ones I'm dabbling with right now. Research station output increase and research from star base constructions. That's pretty good. I'll probably do that one. Research alternatives increased by one, and sciences level cap two. I don't know what that means. It's probably a good thing, though. Researching alternatives. Or research alternatives. Select a construction ship with a cursor, select a mineral or energy. I couldn't see things because it was so zoomed in, so... And then... Chain order. Very good. The new mining station is operational. And nice. already begun gathering resources for people. Oops, I Surveyed skipped it. worlds sometimes possess unique properties that make them valuable objects of research. Oh, These that's right, physics, yeah, like society, black holes, engineering resources, other crazy can be stuff like that. Research station. My Anomalous creatures. compels me to compel you to build one. Something compel my programming strongly compels me to. Yeah, strongly compels me to compel you to build one. I dampened his humor a little, but it's okay. Still made me made me giggle. Keep in mind that research stations can only be built within our borders and have an upkeep cost of energy. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Let's 
pause you. Back out, D-pad right. How do I... Oh, it says it right there, building Alpha Centauri A mining station. And I can see it's station. Oh, that's cool. Or it's progress done right there. Construction complete. Nice. Select the construction ship from the outliner. With the cursor, select the physics anomaly or whatever resource and then build the research station. Oh, I'm like, what? What are you guys talking about? There ain't nothing special over here. No, that's the research vessel. Select the construction ship from the outliner. Yeah. Am I just confuddling what it says? What resource is there? <laughs> to improve the rate at which we research technologies, research stations should be built above any world that possesses those things. Okay. Okay, and it could be the other two. So, physics, society, or engineer. This is our system's star base. These upgradable stations mark star system ownership and are most often tasked with producing all types of ships. They can be specialized into a variety of functions through modules and buildings, and they tend to be the last line of defense against enemy fleets in a system. We expand our borders by building star base. Oh, the music started bumping. We expand our... Wow, it's really going. That's like boss music. Oh, right, anyways. We expand our borders by building star bases in nearby systems, and enemy star bases can be captured by attacking them. Once we've, we have colonized more planets, we can manage our trade routes via the Starbase interface as well. Okay, cool. No shipyard yet. Upgrade, that's right. Okay, but I'm confused. Research stations function much in the way as a mining station. Instead, they collect physics, society, or engineering. Okay. Is it back over here in Seoul? Or do I need to go find one? Is it glitching or am I just being a total goober and I'm missing it? Is it this? No, it's the literal planet. It's 
select a physics, engineering, or society resource. Um, I'm kind of confused on what, what it means. Automatic construction. Automate construction of research station and mining stations. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Too bad uh, it's not cool that I don't know what to do though. Class M star. This thing is fucking three different stars. Fudge are they talking about? Build research station? Hold on. It says with the ship selected. Maybe in the other one? Uh, Capitan, I do not see the uh, physics, engineering, or society research. I 
Alt. I don't understand. Search complete. Minerals for miners. Yeah. Oh, it's researched. I was going to say, that's what I'm doing. Eh, it's already researched. Corvette hull. Oh, that's really good. Starbase. Unlock starbase building? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nebula refinery. Leader gained, leader gained. Colonize planet to expand the border of our empire. Plant modifiers. So to just select some random planet to improve the rate at which we research new technologies research stations should be built above any world that possesses physics society and or engineering resources no planet here does that I do not want to be stuck here forever trying to figure this out. I'm already irritated by it. Says select one of those resources. I don't see any of them. Research complete.
Okay, so now we have research 20%. Hydroponic farms. Wait, pause. Buildings and districts have their build costs reduced by 10%, build speed increased by 25 That sounds stellar. That sounds stellarous. So is he still going to be searching? Survey, oops. Chain order survey. Chain order survey. I must need to go find them. That's the whole point. I need to go survey the systems and then attempt to find them, I guess. I don't know. Research complete. Okay, so I already got that one. Um, energy credits from technicians, 20%. Energy from starbase constructions, 10%. Improved deflectors. Uh, I'm going to do the AI, believe it or not. 5% across the board. Sounds ideal to me. System survey complete. Habitable Worlds Survey. We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Earth, but the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn about more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are, 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 are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable life-bearing worlds. Begin the Habitable World Survey event chain. Gain to no. Situation log updated. station? Yep, yep. I 
I still don't know where this shit is. System survey complete. Building up key district up key. Well, hold on, secondary. Ring world city segments and and acum acumopolis acumen acumenopolis residential arco arcologies also provide additional housing. Oh my gosh, that's too many too many words. Got my brain jumbled. Did I already get that one? Research station output increased. Leader experience gain. Versus one additional clerk, habitable trade ward district, ring world city segments. Anomaly found. We should do deeper. Create a message in a bottle archaeological site. We discovered a new archaeological site. Okay, is this finally? The archaeology window shows details of the currently selected archaeology site. After progress is made, you can still go back and read previous stages by clicking the rune icons. Site summary, chapter one. Press A to view stage and event rewards. Nothing to report. That's cool. Change leader. Research complete. Strategic resource discovered. Here we go. Okay, you just had to go on adventure. How do you jump to ship? Look at it with left stick? Here we go. Oh, that's right. Green is made. Yellow is not. Aw, oh, my nephew. It's been too long. I need to. I need to hang out with my favorite little nephew. My one and only. That's why I say that. But my favorite nephew. 
5k. I should have enough to build that now. One hundred. Oh, because I only have 60? No, hold on, wait, what? This planet is not within our borders. Oh, well, yeah. System survey complete. Campaign to elect a new president is underway. Research afterburners, basic strike craft, or engineering research boost. Democratic ruler. And then I can influence one or the other. Oh, I need to support one. Or I don't have to, but I should. Or I guess I didn't even say should, but I can. Not enough unity. Oh, I don't think I can. Aggressive agriculture, off-world miner, energy infrastructure in that one. Supported one time. Oh, can I unsupport? Well, that person's getting elected. No one else even has enough percentages. Is that my... Oh, it's my captain. He's his influence, or he's influenced by his career. <laughs> no way, it was him. Mandate unfulfilled. Our president's reign has come to an end with their election campaign promises unfulfilled. Oh yeah, what did I need to do? Oh well, I'll check it better next time. This is just the tutorial. I'm just getting the feel for the game again. Scientists became the uh, leader, so they don't have a ship captain now. Agriculture, expertise in biology, or expertise in computing. Research speed, computing, research speed, biology, anomaly research. You're the one. All right, Dirk. Research complete. So I did the hydroponic farming. Oh wow, cool. Naval capacity from soldier jobs plus two. That's a nice little boost. Planetary unification though. Hmm. This technology remains as a valid option until it is researched. Planetary unification. Off-world trading. Faction founded. 
A new faction has recently been gaining traction in the international political landscape of the United Nations on Earth. Led by President Blah, Alien Sif, Ridge Council. We're pushing hard for friendly relations with alien species. Cool, that's good. Work for equality and justice for all denizens. That's good. Is that xenophile? Oh yeah, because xenophobia. Complete. For if you don't like him, with xenophile. If you do, that's right. A leader, awesome. System survey complete. Our new research station is online. And it Oops, I was reading that. I should not have skipped so quickly. Cars moat. Sorry, where? Moat stabilizing technology. Oh, okay. Your attention, please. We must continue exploring the galaxy. Select a science ship, survey another nearby star. You mean like that one right there? Research complete. Science. So I need to push really hard in science and make sure I get enough luxury items and unity or something else. I don't remember what it was, but I remember having difficulties keeping some of the stuff balanced because they're like, it was like their basic needs, but met through different standards. Basic combat roles. Recent progress in AI behavioral theory allows us to designate specific combat roles to our ship or computers. What does it do? Unlocks component, basic combat roles. So that's just like literally the ability to attack. Research station output. Yeah, I'll do that one because that's 10%. It all adds up. It really does in the end, so. Oh crap. There we go. It almost didn't count. It's so cool you can see it scanning each planet. I don't remember if that always did that or if I just didn't find it before or what, but that's freaking dope, dude. Atmospheric anomaly. Oh, challenging. 180 more days to research, that's fine. This is all the tutorial. This is all with unity. So how do I get more unity, I guess, is my question. Or how can I maximize getting the most? things can match the strength of a content populace working towards a common goal. Expansion. Oops, what's the adoption? Colony development speed, 25%. Oh yeah, but you can only build so many star bases. How do you check the amount? The 
The resource panel is where we can view our monthly income from energy credits, minerals, and unity. Yeah, I remember that much. Oh, one of three? Is that it right there? Starbase capacity. Alright, cool. I do mostly remember this game. Thank God, because there's a learning curve to it. And so I can't build here unless I have a star base, right? Yeah, yeah, not within our borders. And then that's their objective. Okay, then I'm just gonna play timeout. Oh, okay, no, I should. As if I'm actually playing and whatnot. Oh, build mining station. Can I just build it from here? Swirling Shadows adds a shadow play modifier to Procyon Illa A. Immense ragged planets of shadow drift. Sorry. Immense ragged planets of shadow drift across Procyon 3 2A's face. Did you know? System survey complete. Did you know? We may want to consider building a second science ship. This would double the speed at which we can survey our galactic neighborhood. Well, f yeah, I did. That's right, I need to maximize on searching, or, um, expanding. Oh wait, I don't have to do that. Hold on. Maybe I do. Shipyard. Uh, scientist. And then... Oh, I have 2k alloy? Yeah, they gave, they gave you a good little chunk of alloy. You ain't gonna be suffering too bad in the, the, the get-go. Ships means double the fun. Oh, I can be this excited <laughs> since we completed the last assignment. We have they a got jokes, bro. Science ship, but no scientist has been assigned to command it. Not a worry, I know what to do. Do you rename these bad boys too? Because that's going to be something that I want to do. Because it'll be easier on my brain. That's cool. You can really break it down. Rename ship. You want to see Voyager? Well, I'll remember the Voyager's the new name. I'm not worried about naming it, but now I know where to find it for my save. Do, 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 do. All right, select our new science ship. No leader. Huh, can't select it from that screen, but you can from here at least. Oh, well, it's, it's the manage screen though, that's, that's why. Research speed, research speed. Anomaly discovery chance. Yeah, dude, that's perfect, literally. Okay, and then... Good. The scientist has assumed command of our new science ship. And can yeah, sent off at our leisure to explore new systems and or meet some grizzly fates. And or meet some grizzly new fates. I have important information for you. Galaxy map, move the cursor over any owned star system. Uh-huh. 
oops. Move over any. Wait. <gasps> what? to release. Dude, awesome. Could I have a moment of your time? Of course, Rad. Here is something that you perhaps didn't know. Plenty ahead will be crucial to your success. Let me show you how to plan your science ship's future missions. Oh, cool. Actually, I know how to do that. I was, I was just complete. doing that. Oh, wait. Planetary build speed? Yeah. Man, she's got some freaking awesome skills. I don't know if they upped it or, or just... I I didn't play this game nearly enough, so I shouldn't even say it. I was like, I don't even remember if they changed this. I barely know this game well enough. I gotta go take a leak, that caffeine. Okay, let's see. For the galaxy map. Select any science ship. Surely it means over here. something that you perhaps didn't know. Your science, your science ship will now go where no one has gone As before. As an astute observer may already have noticed, habitable planets are divided into a number of districts and have multiple building slots. Districts provide jobs 
which produce basic resources, while planetary buildings provide jobs which produce services or refined goods. Yes. Our homeworld already has several districts and a few buildings, including our capital, but the time has come to add more. Pops who do not have a job are considered to be unemployed. More building slots will be unlocked as the number of populations increase. Pops increased. Select our homeworld from the outliner. I'll leave that open. This is our homeworld, and the capital of our empire. The planet's summary screen, which we are currently looking at, provides an overview of the planet's important statistics, and allows us to set a designation if desired, as well as the option to automate the planet. Sweet. Districts and buildings. They are built to their fullest, I believe. No, 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 they're not. Planetary admission, administrative, research, commercial. Administrative offices, already have some. Pretty sure they combo together though. Is that all versus specifics? Yeah. I would say. Alright, so shows the plant production up there, the status, the population, the trade value. Okay, so hypothetically, what would what would this planet need? Increase crime and spawn defense armies. Hydroponics, that's good. A resource. 5,000 more food. Well, that's great, but I don't necessarily need that. Plus two more production. Here we see a breakdown of Oops. this planet's population. Divided into levels <clears throat> or strata. Okay. They can be expanded to view the job types within each stratum. Jobs use and produce different resources, and the pop working a job needs a certain amount of housing and amenities. A lack of either will reduce happiness, which can lower the plant's stability. Okay, yeah, that was the amenities. That was something that I was not producing enough of in the first place. Okay, so before we go and go on to another page, though, we need more buildings. Civilian industries. Turn blank into consumer goods. Wasn't it that I just needed... What was it? This values overall level of pop happiness on the planet averaged out between all pops. Pops with a higher amount of political power, such as rulers under most living standards, count more towards your approval rating than those of a lower social class. A planet with low approval rating will be reduced stability and may experience more crime. Okay. Well, that doesn't directly answer my, my that there question. What do they need said amenities okay amenities amenities that's 
consumer goods. So what makes amenities? Clerks produce trade value and amenities. Okay, we need a commercial zone. Do we have one? We do have one commercial zone. Planet status. Housing. Building from districts. Pop housing needs. 37. It's negative 37. Like, you need one more building? Oh, man. Luxury residence. Intricately designed residential tower with luxurious apartments. Advanced zero-g technology is the only thing keeping the more outlandish terrorist designs from collapsing. You go over here, and then so I need jobs and housing, jobs and housing. Oh, cool, it does have a category name, Unity. Oh, beer crafts turn consumer goods into Unity? Oh, you can make a whole little chain of, like, make consumer goods, then turn consumer goods into Unity, and Unity, bam. Noted. Good, but not worth it. Where's, like, housing? Just luxurious residences? Commercial zone... Huh. Okay. And then jobs. So it's current jobs. Administrative, research, okay. Your credits turn consumer goods into Unity. Turn consumer goods into research. I need to make consumer goods then. Turn minerals into consumer goods. Housing and job, those are taken care of now. Can I just clear blocker? Industrial district, they have icons by them. Do they also produce those as well? District generator. I mean, yeah, what's the power at? Does it just cost me 450 buckaroos?
Oh, that straight up would help with... Wait, now city... Oh, because it's the district. The district. Select an open building slot. Select alloy foundries. Oh. Alright, fine. Construction complete. What is that? Is there a cannon sticking out of the Oh, it's a shovel, like into a pile of sand. Yep. Dope. System survey complete. Let's get them going in the background. Again, I need to remember to train myself. Even though it's a tutorial right now, I do need... If I got a ship, it should be doing something. Okay. Hold on, what's the... That's fine. How much do I have? Oh, I got 8k. I'm getting 60 per. Oop, I meant this one. Good enough. Have them start there and we'll go from there. Anomaly found. Yay. Maybe not yay. Initial analysis of the asteroid's composition points towards potentially interesting finds. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. It's almost like it was meant to be. Has been finished on our new planetary building, and it should now begin producing resources. Planetary features on habitable planets are sometimes blocked, preventing their exploitation. Clearing a blocked feature takes time and costs minerals or energy. Yep. 
Fragments of life. Add to the X planet modifier JQQ 1 619. Awesome. Sorry. Amazing. System survey complete. Access the surface tab of Homeworld's planet. Clear blocker. Oh, because that's what I'm waiting for. System survey complete. Minor mandate fulfilled. As per our president's mandate, adding additional mining stations will be constructed. Expansion. Colonization fever seems to have gripped blah 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 blah. New colonies start with one additional pop. Awesome. And then starbase influence costs reduced by 10%. Good, but until you run into people, I should just do that one. Hey! Just nine! I'm getting there, getting there. Uh, yes and, or uh, no, I can't say yes and no. Yes, but that's just to get to, I'm pretty sure, affiliate. And then after that is when you can become partner for the next stage up. But affiliate is 50 followers with a congruent three people or more watch time. So it's not just 50 followers. You have to also have people that watch you X amount too. So they make sure, they make sure. Because anyone can get followers, especially with some of the people that try to uh, play the system and try to do unfair views and whatnot. Well, if that's all it was, then they could get them pretty easy, so. You made it! Average three viewers. Um, I, not, not quite there, but I'm stacking it up. I stream so much that it's it, it might actually be against me. I should probably like stream at peak hours, so to speak, but at the same time, the idea is just to to enjoy myself and just a game and feel whatever feels natural so how long have you been streaming on twitch um so when i first started streaming that was a couple few years ago that was i think right before or right right at the beginning of covid um started streaming then and then kind of backed off took a break got a regular job again and uh and now i'm kind of taking a swing at it again Why don't you have much audience on your channel? Have you thought about it? Uh-oh. If this segues into um, providing any free views or any of that stuff, uh, I that's a no-no. <laughs> I'm not a bot. I didn't know because uh, sometimes, it's, sometimes you know how people can be and whatnot too. Or they'll send the special like text where it's like it's not even actual letters. Well, it, it is a letter, but it'll be like it'll be like a Greek letter C, and it'll be like a, a, a Middle Eastern S or something. So it looks like words, but it's not. You're taking me wrong. No, 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 I just misunderstand is all. I just need further explanation so I do understand, that's all. I mean, I'm up for suggestions, though. Like, like all jokes aside, I'm, I'm up for suggestions. There's no such thing as a, a bad suggestion. I mean, of course, to a degree, but within a realm of actually trying to help. Access the surface tab of our homeworld. Am I just waiting to select planetary, select one of the blockers? I did do that, though. Access the surface tab. I was just saying you have to be consistent, dude, and also have to make your channel attractive. I agree, I agree. 
Yeah, I try to like post on Twitter, like pre-post, pre and post stream. Uh, try to share uh, all my videos on YouTube, by the way, too. Uh, I drop all the VODs off over there and um, the, what are they called? Clips. The clips make really good uh, YouTube shorts. So I've been doing that as well, doing VODs and shorts and whatnot. So uh, network. The, the phrase I think we might be looking for is network. See, you don't have any custom design on your channel. I attract people towards your stream. Twitter, Insta, Discord. Yeah, I have a Discord. Uh, you can access it on the front page of the of my, my homepage. Uh, if you are on... You must be on mobile then, since you can't see my overlay. If you're on a web browser, you can see the overlay over there. But if you're on mobile, sadly, you don't get to see the overlay. Which is kind of silly, since since mobile is such an important part of Twitch that it doesn't really get enough... Uh, the app could be better. Yeah, and my Instagram is where I post all my Airsoft stuff, so that one I kind of reserve for that. Uh, Twitter is for my, what I call like advertising, like my professional profile. That's where I advertise gaming and content I'm interested in, post, pre-post, pre-post streams. Um, all that jazz, I'm thinking. And then Facebook's kind of my personal one. That's just where I like put up my my literal personal things, things that interest me. Little post, maybe a meal I made, maybe an airsoft or something. I'm doing little things, or maybe something I got going on in my life. So I I try to have like social platform and stuff, and then also keep them all connected. YouTube is the best platform to bring audience, but that won't be permanent. Yeah, growth is always a fluctuation, so it's finding the right time, the right place, and the right people to advertise to. And it's also being able to read between the lines and know your audience members too, to, to see what they're actually after, or to hope to find what they're actually after. But then again, I mean, in the end, that's just me. It's just literally me and the games I happen to play and me and my goofballness along the way. I create custom logos, emotes, banners, things like that for streamers, and notice that in my life that on Twitch, who has those? have much audience because it makes the stream professional oh yeah for sure for sure my mentality right now though is I'm freelance so I don't make any money off of this so I'm not gonna spend any money on this when I start making money off of this then I'll absolutely have no problem ROI return on investment and then I'll put all of it all of it I'll put some monies back into it it takes time you gotta start somewhere which is which is where I'm at Yeah, my girly friend does uh, some art herself, like digital art and whatnot, so I've thought about maybe like seeing if she would do like the the logo art, like a Tasmanian Devil with the, because nickname, of course, Spets and Taz. And, uh... Is this not the soul system? Hold on. No, it is the soul system. Makes it look professional, start making money from this. You have to invest first. Lols. You're correct, but see, what you think is investing with money may not always be an investment of money. I'm investing time. My time is my current investment right now. Same, 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 same. If you want to head over to my YouTube, you can check out any of my YouTube videos, and you can subscribe over there as well. And, uh... As we were discussing, we could begin bridging networking from there. Like I said, though, I'm pretty well freelance right now, so I'm not putting any money in until I start making money out of it. Do, 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 do. So true, given the time here. I will. I appreciate you. Thank you. Am I in the wrong spot? Am I just looking at the wrong thing, I guess? No, because I need the space. Okay, hold on. Access the surface tab on your home world's planet. Oh, shoot! 
Well, thank you. It's me, Jane. Okay, we'll just, we'll go with Jane. You have four followers on YouTube. I know! I told you it was grown. It takes time, it takes time. And I mean, I really kind of just started this time again streaming, and I've already gotten this much traction. My videos are getting a lot of views and stuff uh, during and after streams. Uh, my YouTube's getting a bunch of traction with views and watch time. Um, it it's it's kind of wild. It really feels like something's happening. Like there's there's some traction and some momentum and stuff. It's it's wild. It's fascinating. It's fun. It's all in the beginning. It's fresh. I'm still really small and everything and all that. From a nobody to a somebody, but you're still a nobody. Not you, a a person. I'm just joking. Being a smart ass. I will be sure to check out some of your socials too. If uh, I'm not, I don't really like a whole lot of promo on the in the chat. But if you send me a whisper on some of your socials, I will follow you back, and I appreciate the follows. Exactly. Slow and steady wins the race. I want to make sure this is actually. Access the surface tab of our homeworld's planet. Is it because I need to access this? But I'm on it. But with the, the slow progress thing too though, it's funny, I was just playing um, Ancestors a humankind odyssey it's kind of like you're playing as primates and you slowly evolve over time and uh you can rush you can rush the game but it's almost better to just really take your time slowly build your neuronal links and stuff and slowly keep building up perks and progress and all that jazz i'm trying to access the surface tab but it won't let me access the surface tab or only on the planet it's on surface Maybe it'll activate after I complete it. Anomaly found. Shared my Twitter and Insta with you. I see. Where are you from? So, uh, I live in the US, and uh, originally I was born in Minnesota, but I was only there for like three or four months before we moved to a little bit further south into Missouri, and uh, been here ever since. So, pretty well lived here in Missouri my entire life. Pros and cons. Ah, I don't mind too much. Of course, with the whole somewhat of a when you when you're in public, your your face is to an extent on the internet and other informations and whatnot. But but yeah, here in Missouri. Tried kick also. It's a good stream platform. So I did when the first controversy controversy was really hitting. Twitch, I did check out, or I did download the Kick app, but I never like actually got onto it. So it's only on my phone. I've never in, it looked into it. It looks questionable because some of the stuff that people get away with, I'm, this is what I hear. I don't know if it's accurate, but this is what other people might also think. From what I hear, they let some people get away with too much, and I don't want to accidentally be associated with someone who's looking for a platform that allows me to get away with, uh, a lot of bad things because I'm not and so it's just like uh, I don't mind being on Twitch they have a little bit more rules but that's yeah, okay <laughs> from US too cool 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 I know I'm always curious it's like unless I hear an accent it's just like I'm curious of where other people are from I've, I've always been a curious critter and whatnot too though anomaly we're gonna research it yet another impediment to our galactic ambitions has been dealt with that time impediment that never stood a chance. Okay, cool. Accounting. Here is something that you perhaps didn't know. Do do do. Anyway, time's over. Just a short break. I have to get back to work now. See you later. Well, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, catch you later, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, day, night, whatever. Well, I mean, it's still. It'd be a few hours, but. To lose. <laughs> Pause, check out. Oh, it's the anomaly. He's researching it still. Build two more star bases. Oh, I could do that. Shoot, I could do that. Oh, 
it really doesn't matter where I build them, but... Wait, no, hold on. We back out one, and then we hold X? Mm, is it in the system? Oh, wait. Rename system, claim system, system not restricted. Um, yeah, no, hold on. There's a way to get this pulled up easier. Is it left stick? No. I just would have sworn it was holding X. Oh, oh, is it on an already established? Okay, okay. Soul system. What's he building in Soul? I don't know. Mm, peculiar. Oh, hopefully I chained that. Did I chain that? Let's just see if he stops it real quick. He might have. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident. I feel like I could probably go, mostly go play, start a new save and play that. And then the little bit I would struggle would just be just learning the new stuff as it unfolds. Just organically, I guess, at that point. Bernard stay. System survey complete. Issues. Special project observatory. Situation log updated. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Our empire continues to expand. Here is something that you perhaps didn't know. Star bases are only for defining territory. They are multi-use platforms that define your empire's capabilities. Hold on. Star bases aren't only for defining territory. There are multi-use platforms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shipyard, uh, booster, all that stuff. And then, I'm being a little too particular for this being a tutorial. I'll just, I'll go over here. It doesn't matter. Build Starbase. Oh, meant to press play. Evading hostile fleet. Science ship UNSC Voyager has encountered a hostile alien fleets vessels. I'm sorry, a hostile alien vessels. Okay, that's because the A isn't supposed to be in there because the S shouldn't be. Either the A or the S needs to be gone. Encountered a hostile alien vessel, or encountered hostile alien vessels. Oh, no. A hostile alien vessel. It would have to be vessel. Fleet? It's because its name is Alien Vessels. Oh, no, because that's Vassal. That's with an A, so Vessel. Yeah, whatever. We made first contact with an unknown entity. Enigmatic, enigmatic space pharaohs. The United Nations of Earth have finally encountered fellow wanderers among the stars. Despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile, the atmosphere on Earth following the report from our contact fleet has best can best be described as rapturous. Intriguing. Abshala. Ashala. First contact. We have come into contact with a new entity. Perhaps a space-dwelling creature or another empire. We can learn more about them by making first contact. Sign an envoy. An envoy. Envoy. Q. 
can't move for another 360, that's fine. Is that all? And I, I'm good now? Upgrade star bases. Alright, hold on, let me... Where's this dude at? I like how perfectly placed they are. I mean, obviously for the tutorial. <laughs> Construction complete. System survey complete. Find one of one of our newly claimed systems and enter the system view. Select the star base at its center. Press RB to access the star base tab. Great, can I see RB on my screen? Oh, wait, no. RB to access Starbase tab. RB? Well, I'll be. Where's RB? Yeah, I don't know what you're trying to tell me here, game. I'm pressing RB. Well, sorry, on Starbase. Select upgrade. Oh, you SOB. Yeah, once you get in the menu, press upgrade. Anomaly found. Research complete. Physics. Energy grid. I'm pretty sure that one was pretty damn good. Okay. Keep at it. Gnomes? Huh. Living crystals. The irregularity we have. Okay, but it's tutorial. Theatric. Eco simulation, genome mapping. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Grants a lump sum unity, monthly unity. Oh, what? No, that's the one. More unity? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I thought the time stopped. No, it's still going. Pop growth speed, 10% versus starbase influence cost. Uh, that's actually pretty big. I didn't even notice that. That's maybe one I would have picked first. New colonies? Yeah. I goofed on this one because Starbase influence costs. I forgot that it's literally making the base, not persuading anyone. Here is something that you perhaps didn't 
Mode I feel safer already. Complete. Starbase interrupted. Approaching Starbase. Is Can I have a moment of your time? Select your newly upgraded Starbase. Press RB to access Starbase. Select any empty module. Select Anchorage. And the Anchorage does... Fleet anchors are necessary to support the growth. Nav capacity. Okay, yeah. First contact event pending. Ship sized objects, slightly smaller but equally crystal like satellites, at first appeared inert but suddenly shifts in their orientation relative to our ships and new energy. Okay, fascinating. We can learn to coexist. Oh, wait, what? Ends the first contact procedure with Prism. Ends the. Okay. Special project, crystalline study, or pacification? Pacify? That doesn't sound very friendly. Our best and brightest are standing by to study these entities. We can learn to coexist. An alien empire has established communications. Cool. Oh, hold on. Technically, construction ship. Select the ship and then X. No. Can I hold X? No. Do I hold X in in the system? It's funny that you can just keep pinging the same spot. <laughs> Survey. Research complete. Well done. With any luck, soon our flutes will blot out the stars. Whenever we, re whenever we finish researching a technology, up to three options will be generated. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Coil gun, mining subsidies, mineral purification plants. This edict is focused administrative effort is a focused administrative effort to reprioritize and reevaluate production goals, yielding a boost to mining. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. We'll go ahead and do that, guy. We should now be ready to extend our great civilization to a second world. This will require the construction of a colony ship. Oh wait, well I didn't have to do all that. Shipyards, soul... Shipyard, colony ship... Yes. Cool. And we already have planet over here in Alpha ready to be um, inhabited. Anomaly found. 
Has two blockers. So you can only remove three. Noted. Earth has no city districts under construction. So this is the industrial, right? No, that's mining. This is industrial. So we want mining and industrial then. To at least get them to kind of keep up with them. that little red tick mark again? Populate- ooh! Is it overpopulated? Luxury- edit building. Disable, demolish, replace, or repair. Huh. Construction complete. They're both on Rizor. Riser. Alright, so we're building that. And then... Yeah, look at it. There we go. Yeah, okay, so yeah, they're just gonna kind of limit you a bit. Just can't keep you localized. But I mean, this is the tutorial, you don't need to go anywhere else. Did I already build one? Uh, I'm a goober, that's why. Whoa, what? Multi select. Entirely sure on how that that one entirely works. <laughs> hey, ZZ. You. you hyper. Aww, you hyper. Get him to do something. Situation log updated. Weapon target range. Yeah, 
election coming up. Situation log updated. Orbital complex. have all been transferred to the new colony ship and her captain reports all systems go a momentous day for momentous sure. day we have a colony ship and we have found at least one suitable candidate for a permanent extrasolar outpost i see you the cursor from the system which in the colonize the colonizable planet Select our colony ship from the outliner. Colony ship. Yeah, Zuzu? What? What is it, Zuzu? You wanna sit with Papa? It's my baby. Hey, you threw yourself up here. Hey. Let me move. I can give you more lap. There you go. I don't want no biscuits, though. You're a cutie. Your biscuits are the sweetest, but I don't want no biscuits right now. Can you lay down? Good girl. That's my baby. Oh, is that a luxuries issue? It looks like a suitcase. Population. All right, here we go. Hmm. Current unemployment. I can do about it right now. Special project complete. Archaeological project completed. Voltum artifacts recovered. An interesting find. Indeed. Special project complete. More Voltum artifacts. Our first extrasolar colony. This means that if our homeworld were to spontaneously combust, your species would no longer be rendered extinct. That is a comforting That's nice. thought, wouldn't you say? Indeed. A great day for the United Nations Congratulations on having colonized the new world. Our Thank colonists you. are now in the process of building their first settlement. Ooh. But it will take time for them to become self-sufficient. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. They're needy little sons of angels. Did you know? As ruler, you have complete control over your empire's economy, including how population is assigned to industry. Let's examine our employment options. Select our home planet. And then do, do what after that? Press RB to access the pop, jobs, navigate technicians. Pop. There's jobs. From the 
jobs list, select the workers category. From the jobs list? Oh, you can change job priority. Change the job priority to unemployment. <laughs> okay, hold on now. I am literally doing that. Select home planet, access pop, from the jobs list. From the jobs list, select workers. What you be talking about, fam? What, what, what list of workers? These workers? Navigate. Oh. Hold on. Is that the way it's worded? Okay, it is workers right there. That was my negligence. Alright, favorited technicians. This will set technicians as your favorite job for workers on your home planet and will generate many credits. Many. What if I unfavorite? Does it change? It doesn't change right away. Alright. I have important information for you. Better understand the mechanics of our future galactic success. Yay. Yeah, it's kind of getting I can't a little help bit more but notice that our navy planets. is a bit on the weak side. We are oh, certain to face many threats in the galaxy that will require some form of military response. Remember, the survival of our civilization is at stake. Indeed. Press D-pad left to access the Empire's management menu. Fleets and ships. No, oh, did I pass it? Yep. Fleets and ships. I like how it barely shows down there. I appreciate that. In the fleet manager, select your fleet and templates. Fleet. Hold on, hold on. There it goes, Zuzu. You like playing musical laps, huh? Aw. Could you just not get comfy? That's okay, good girl. I still love you. Orbital bombardment. That's what I need. Will not bombard undefended planets. Will not kill the last 21 pops. Oh. They have a no... No... Oh, what's it called? Not raised earth. Oh, man. Scorched Earth. Um, hold on now. Oh, no, I was in the right one. Navigate to the right to highlight the Corvette. Oh, cool. Oh, but it tells you what you got built and how many more to go. It literally just puts a new factory right off the bat. That's so cool. Yeah, I definitely didn't use these features as in-depth as I could have. Should have. But I mean, hey, that's why I'm playing it now. Oh god, how many? To eight, okay. And they just A? Wait, retrofit? We're not retrofitting them. They're not changing. They're just actually building them. I mean, it's, it's a little, little wordage that doesn't matter. All right, so you do that, then you go over to Reinforce Fleet. Oh, because it's asking me to retrofit. I don't have anything to retrofit, so yes, I am right. That's why I can't select that. I'm a goober. Reinforce Fleet. And it's building them now because I'm paused. 
Oops. The new ships will be added to your start base queue. Yep, I remember that. You can recruit and assign an admirable an admiral fleet the same way as assigning scientists to a science ship, blah blah blah. Oh, but it's not telling me to put the Admiral an Admiral on it, so I'm not worried about it. I may not even have one. Good. We now have a small but capable space fleet that should serve us well in the event of brown any unexpected chicken, hostile cow. encounters. Your attention, please. Sometimes the default option doesn't always suit. Try moving some elements on your outliner to find what works best for you. Oh, yep, yeah, I've already... Boop and boop. LB or L and RB to highlight the tutorials menu header? Oh, and specifically tutorials, retract it, and then press this. Hold on, press X to move the entire tutorial section downwards. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yep, yep. And then move upwards again. Left stick click, yep. Did you know? Well done, sometimes it's better to chart your own course than rely on those charted Could before I have a moment you. of your time? Complete. I've taught you the basics on creating an interstellar empire. You may now continue on your own, although I might still have advice to offer. You can continue playing or quit and start a new game. Yeah, I'm at that point. I think I'm good to go. Research complete. Harnessing the sun? What was that? Okay. Oh, cool. Can I select my already established people? Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I'm just kind of checking over their stuff right now. It's locked because it's with DLC? Question mark. Oh, Empire spawning allowed. Council of Galactic Mushy is allowed to appear in a regular game instead of a randomly generated empire. Will always appear in a regular game instead of a randomly generated empire. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like a, that's what I would want. Off, on, and locked. Huh. I don't know how you'd get that information panel back, because once you fill it in with a different section, it goes away. Okay. Not allowed to appear in a regular game instead of a random generated empire. Is allowed to. Will always appear in a regular game instead of a randomly generated empire. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty well how I want to rock that civilization. That would be my main peoples.
Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Cool. Okay, cool. Thank God all this stuff is already set up, too. Voice, though? Is that what I saw in there? game is not eligible for achievements. Why not? I mean, I'm sure there's a small detail. I'm really not worried about it either, though. Small, medium, or large. I mean, either medium or large. They can get obnoxious with too much, and it's just me. Oh, wait. AI Empire. So it'd only be three others. So six others. That's a lot, too. Maybe I do a small one for my first game. 200 stars. Divided by three people. What is that? Almost 75 each. Well, one third and one third then. 66 each. Versus. Can I adjust? Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, I want to be the sixth one. What did that change? It's not. It was moving the bar, but it wasn't changing the number? Weird. Zero. Wait, what? I guess if you wanted to go, like... Advanced AI starts. This controls how many of the regular AI empires will start with an initiative advantage in resources, technology, and population. They do not gain any additional bonuses besides a stronger starting position. This setting does not affect fallen empires. What? Why the hell would I force them to get a better spawn? I don't get a forced better spawn. I'm not going to give them one either. Max Fallen Empires. This controls the maximum number of Fallen Empires that are allowed to spawn in the galaxy. Fallen Empires are ancient, precursor civilizations that start with advanced technology and powerful fleets, but are not allowed to expand or build new ships. You can only have two. I mean, that's fair. That's fine. How quickly technology and traditions are gained by regular empires. The higher it is, the longer it will take to unlock individual. Eh, it's one times, so that's normal. This is all normal stuff, so I'm keeping this. The only thing I changed was the star amount of stars and the amount of players in it. Four hundred years. Four hundred stars. Sounds about good to me. Grand Admiral? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, it is. It's lethal six. Jeez. It was on Captain. I think I'm gonna do Ensign. AI empires that are not subjects of players get bonuses to their economy and research. Well, I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, if that's tutorial or starter, and that's normal, and that's hard, I would like to start on hard, then. Ha normal or hard? It's probably more normal than anything. 
I mean, three of six? Yeah. Scaling. When this is enabled, an AI bonuses, any AI bonuses from the default settings scale up over time, starting at zero and reaching maximum at mid-year or end-year. Difficulty just AI modifiers, now AI aggression. Guaranteed habitable planets. <laughs> Only two, that's maxed, all right. Zuzu wants to keep playing magical laps. Musical, musical laps. Iron Man. Oh. Automatically saved regularly onto a single file. Games played with the setting cannot be changed during gameplay. Oh, I mean, that's good, though. Automatically saved regularly. Oh, you can't save. It saves for you. No, I'm, I'm good. Galaxy shape. Elliptical, spiral two arms, ring, elliptical. I don't know how spiral two arms would look, though, so let's just do elliptical. Hmm. Is ring just going to be like... What, a black hole in the very center? Oh, let's do elliptical. Elliptical. Council of Galactic Mushy. For prosperous unification. In the eons, in the eons, since the first primitive Alpha Amanita Mascaria, communities took shape in the meadows and forests of Lush, our civilization has spread and prospered. As we advanced through the technological ages, we also matured as a species. The violent and base impulses we inherited from our ancestors were done away with, and a global government was formed on the principles of peaceful coexistence. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane Network, the finest minds of the Council of the Galactic Mushy have finished development of the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Peace be with you. You can toggle between pause and play at any time during the game, holding down the button. You said I could turn it back on at any time because I did listen to You'll you. You'll be sorry. <laughs> You'll be sorry. Oh, do we seriously start in soul, quote unquote, no matter what, though? No, it's called soul, but we do start on our on our own, so that's good. Anastasia. Anastasia. I was about to say, hold on now, Anastasia. I spelled that wrong. No, I just read it wrong. Okay, see, that's what I was imagining. This is a ring to me, because you can't get to the center unless that's an, the event, and so that's why it's kind of covered up until they are ready to let you in it. That's huge, bro. Oh my god, is that a black hole? Anyways, let's get back on target. First things first. What do we have built? Which is going to be the three ships. So let's actually save. That's going to be the very, very first thing. New entry. Can I rename it? Um, is that the save name then? Because that's the, yeah. Hold on, wait, what? Oh, it's the full server code. I'll just... I'll be a goober and I'll do this. 3-1-2024. Yeah. No. Oh. There we go. Start! There we go. Okay. We're paused. We're good. Okay, I need to go take a leak. I'll be right back. Right back.
first things first is let's get that. Dude, Alpha Centauri is looking pretty sweet over there. They are kind of based on the similar star names of Sol, though. It's going to be Bernard's Star. Barnard's. Bernard's Star. Alpha Centauri. Those are all close. Literally. Mining facility. Soul mining station. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I named it Soul, I'm pretty sure. No, no, no. Never mind. Oh, that's a name. 136108. Omiya? Homia, 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 Homia. No idea. So, first things first. Focus. Science ship. Survey. And I kind of want to create a circle here, so. I'll take another ship that way. Need to... Need to... So right now I'm focusing on the great fleet's latest design. There we go, that's what was wrong. Shipyard. Science ship, how much, how many plating? Ooh, I have a hundred. I think science is honestly, but in my opinion, I think it's more important than a construction ship currently, currently. Do I make any? Oh yeah, no, that's, that's critical because I'm not producing any plates here. Any alloys? Yeah, I have no alloy production. Well, actually, I can do a quick version. Yeah, I definitely don't. Okay, so... So that means my science is all figured for now, so construction is going to be next. How much mineral? I have a hundred. Okay, so what's going to get me more? I only don't have... Uh, two power, two mineral, two engineering. Research, okay. Build a mining station. Is it already built? No, it's blue. I mean, it's white, so it's not been created yet. Is that the craft ship? Jupiter mining station? No, that's... Oh, I can't. Because I don't have enough material, so I can't chain it. All right, that's fine. My little, it's my kitty cat's dinner time. She's, yeah, she's still got food, and she's literally sleeping with her mom right now, so. With her mama in the other room. Okay, so, got construction going, got science going. Okay, so, 
next focus. Zoom out one more time, so... Yep, yep. Okay, and now I'm gonna wanna try to upgrade anything on... Anything else, really. 75, so I don't have enough alloy for any of this stuff. That's fine. And now... Where's my, my home? Lush. Okay. Immediately, the first thing I need to remember to do is to check where we're deficient. We're already going to be lacking something. So with that in mind... That's minus two pop, right? I just need more housing. Yes. Okay. The very first thing I'm now going to prioritize is housing. Ooh, I start off with three squares? Cool. Are there blockers in the way? Oh. Okay, that's right. Yeah, so this one has three blockers, but two of them are accessible. Okay. So. Mm, how much... How many how much population does it give me? A city district five what? A uh, five housing, one one job. Okay, it's like one, that's it. 425. Oof. Okay, can I queue it but not have enough? No, okay. I wish I could queue it and it would just tell me, hey, is you're not gonna build this until you get more months. Oof. Okay, so I need to keep that in mind. I need housing. I still need more monies. More mun mun. Okay, we're good to go. Military fleet staying there. These guys are good. That's as good as I can get it. Can't upgrade my shipyard. Research is. Ah, I almost forgot. That's the other thing that's not. I feel like they should ask you. Do you want to start going before selecting a research, or or just let you know? Hey, you don't have a research select. Ooh, research outstow. Wow, I cannot speak. Research station output, or. Physics research from researchers. That seems better because unless a doctor could be specifically physics and there's other forms of hmm. Oh no, specifically physics research from researchers. Okay. This is the broader, more universal one. I'm going to do that. Oh, I might do that one. Society research from researchers. Isn't that the opposite of what I picked, though? I did not pick that one. Yeah, I did not. Physics research from researchers plus 20. No, I think I need to do those ones. Grant a lump sum of unity. Monthly unity plus 5%. Ah, oh, I really need to almost do that one. Oh, I have this already? Cool. And it unlocks the monument. Oh, that's right. Okay. Man, these are all really good, though. But it's between these two, so... Society research from researchers plus 20%. That just makes everything go by quicker, so even if I don't select that now, I can get it later. Easier, quicker. Oh yeah, and I need to check my scientists, because they don't always give you very good ones. Sometimes they give you actually, like, kind of crappy ones, I'll be honest. But, I mean, it's RNG for you. It is what it is. Afterburners. Ooh, minerals. Hands down every time. Let's go. Can I check my researcher? This is Iggy. What's his trait? Or his perk or whatever? Chameleon? Is that like... Oh, there it is. Adaptable. Leader experience gain plus 25. Okay, that's just good for him. And then research speed particles. This leader is following years of study, considered an expert within the field of particles. That's good though, because I'm pretty sure particles take a good bit of time to research. Okay. Sectors, of course. 
outliner options. Whoa, I don't remember these down here. Reorder plans. Proceed to change the order of the planets. Show colony design. All right, I don't think I need any of that. Okay, so instantly I need money for space and... Searching another subject right off the bat if I can. Okay. Let's do this. Well, let's go ahead and save right here right now because this will be the official start start. have an order? No, he definitely does. There we go. Oh, man. I'm trying to get a good angle. Look at all those. Look at all those! Love it. Okay. So, we got that nether. Another. We got that other science ship. What does it take? It costs unity. Ooh. I don't have enough of it. I will very shortly. Fifty-six. I don't have enough money. I just got enough alloys. Allo. Alloy. Yeah, alloy. Alright, let's bump it up one more speed. Try to get that rest of that affinity in there. Oh! Oh, wait, no. I only have 60. I need a minimum... Okay, minimum 50, maximum 100, though. Oh, hell yeah! Hey, he may be a little bit older, but he's... He's eager, and he's ready to rock and roll, dude. Let's go, dude. And you're research, so we want minimal upkeep. You're kind of our lifeline right now. Oh, yeah, it pings like that to show you the current... Okay, so I have him set for one, two, three. So let's go to... You're going to have a lengthier return, but that's okay. Just A? Because this is the first one. We're going to survey, and then now I need to hit X to chain it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Still don't quite have enough muns. Alloy, 63... Gosh, do I do a third science ship? I think I probably will. I might do four. Try to send them out as many directions as possible. I have 84. I think it was 100. Because... 480 turns versus... Where's residential? Oh, because it's not strictly housing, although you can use it for housing. I mean, that's housing plus three. That's the next best thing to a city district. Because housing plus five, right? Yeah. 425? Well, they're going to keep struggling. And then how much does this cost then? 340. So it's really not... Oh. No, yeah, luxury. Okay, it is 340. So it's really not that much cheaper even. Okay. So I can't do anything there. Shipyard. Shipyard. Um. Oh, the Corvette. I'm like, what? I got a ship docked here? No. Yeah, I do. Trade hub. Shipyard. A ship. Yard may build one. Shipyard may build one ship at a time in parallel. Is this already built? 
Okay, I'm like, what? I'm building ships. What do they mean I can build ships now? Yeah. Okay, well. Dang. What is this then? Or how do I get this one? Upgrade oh, the star base. That's right. Yeah, 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 right here. Downgrade. Okay, so I really, I can't do a whole lot right now. Which is the point. Which is the point. Which is good. We're gonna play again. Construction complete. Was that still moving in the background? Ooh. Okay, so he's done building his stuff. One seventy. All right. Can I sell any goods? I have a lot of energy. I could try to sell a little bit of energy, and energy, and a little bit of food. That would get me some more mineral to kind of squeak it out right off the bat. Let's try that. Especially if I go and build this, it's going to cost me. the muns. Now I have to wait to chain it. Okay, that's probably going to give me any. I should almost just hold on to it then. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that. Dang it. It's 340. Keep forgetting. No, 425. And 340, what was the. Yeah, it's the cheaper one. It'd be silly to do that. I'm not gonna waste a building on that when I can. Okay, so 4. 25 is what I need for mineral. Market. Was that it? Yeah, that's me. So I need some of this. Oh, shoot. Okay, I see the the trend here. Then we're going to sell a hundred. Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, for seventy power. And then we're gonna spend three hundred power. So that was going to be 260 something. So I'll do that one last time. Okay. Now we have, do. Wait, 470? Is was that exactly what we needed? No. -uh. No, 425. Yeah, I can count. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Well, that literally has got that going now. So. Can now build this yet, but I also it's more of a backup. Okay, so the immediate issue of population, we're addressing that right off the bat. That's getting attended. Okay. Workers, I need to prioritize this. Uh upkeep. Trade value, amenities. Amenities make us happy, though, so... We're gonna favorite this for now. Mm, 
they don't instantly show you the boost in percentage. Okay, so see, that's yet again, that's a little thing you're supposed to do, like, right off the bat. So, not have to, but you, you should. Okay. That issue is being attended to. And I need 398. This was the next one I needed to upgrade. But what did I need again? Was it the anchorage for multiple ships? Yeah, that could almost wait. Fleet anchorages are necessary to support the growth of our navy. Okay, so, I mean, do I need it? Yes. Do I need it right now? No, honestly. Another science ship. I'm not even messing around. Hold on, so that was... The enlightened cap, minus 25. Cool! I'm lacking 27, so I will just worry about building it. It'll be halfway done, and I can probably be able to build another one. Okay, that's going. That's going. Military is chill. Construction ship... I don't think... No, I need 100. I was just saying, I don't think I have enough left over. Try to... Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. 75. Uh, I think it needs to be a, a 100. Anomaly found. Pause. Okay, jeez. The ship will resume its previous actions when done. Stasis. Proxima Centauri B's peculiar orbit around its red dwarf star renders the planet tidally locked and potentially worthy of further investigation. Level of anomaly reflects the expected complexity of researching it. The assigned scientist's relative skill determines how long it will take them to research the anomaly. That's fine. That's why we need multiple research ships. Pause, 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 pause. Dude, I think I'm, I'm going to do a fourth research vessel. They're so important in the beginning. Okay, so that knocked the cash back down. But it got us... Got us but that got us another ship. So... Good there. Progress there. Oh, that—that that is the progress bar. All right. So, keep advancing. It's a pause in the background. I can't tell. Oh, you can see it. You can barely see it. It is paused. Okay. Proxima Centauri B. For as long as we mushy know. We mushy have been able to look to the stars for new homes. Proxima Centauri B has been a naive dream. A place where... A place we could look to the op... Wow. A place we would look to with optimism. A new home. Sadly, as our telescopes got better, we realized that the planet would probably be a tidally locked frozen hellscape. A theory which we have confirmed today. There is hope, however. The world has all the building blocks necessary for a habitable planet. It might just need a little push. Another exoplanet added to our growing list. Thank you for inspiring us, Proxima Centauri B. So it looks like either way I do it, it doesn't change anything. Another exoplanet added to our growing list. Yes. Oh, policies and edicts. Edicts. Expansion, was it? Pop housing, wait, population housing usage, minus 10. 
Adaptability. Adopting all adaptability traditions. Pop housing is minus 10%. I mean, that's really freaking good right off the bat, too. Diplomacy influence. Anomaly research speed. That's really good. That's right. That's right. Pop food upkeep. Colony development speed. That's good, but no. Clear blocker cost. What's that one? Domination? Yeah. Mercantile. Prosperity? This is the one. Because the mining bonus right off the bat. Mining station is 20%. No, these, yeah, these should all be good. Oh, edicts. Fortify the border. Peace festivals. To cancel. Ethics shift chance 100%. Oh, okay. Happiness plus 10%. Pacifist ethics attraction. Fosters a spirit of unity and good cheer through whole seasons filled with special events and festivals. Empire wide modifiers. I mean, that sounds really good to me. I like peace festivals. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, and then defense of our systems is paramount. This edict will directly... Yep, yep, yep. Will direct... This edict will direct additional resources to these ends. Starbase upgrade speed 50% and starbase capacity plus 2. And then Ethics Shift will hold off on that. What's our minerals? 93. Still, yeah, I don't think we can really do, do a whole lot right now. That's okay, though. Yeah, it's just the beginning, dude. I mean, what, is it only past... It's not even past a year yet. It's, al it's almost been, but it has not passed. So now I got 126. Oh, wait. Hmm. Okay. Well, apparently it's already being uh, benefited somehow. Maybe just by me just literally just advancing time, we provided more housing. Oh, no. Right section, wrong button. Researcher jobs. I'm like, what does it do? Clerks produce trade value and amenities. Turn consumer goods into unity. That's what I need to do. That's right. Administrative offices. Consumer into unity. Okay, then what makes consumer goods? That is it. Yep. Okay, so it's actually not that good of a transfer rate. Oh, no, that's fine. So I need 340. Clerks produce trade value and amenities. Now, hold on.
What's consumer into unity? Okay. So 340 and 340. Yeah. Oof. 680. So lots of mineral. Shipyard. One last. What? Docked at Soul Station Starbase. ISS Algo. Did I not already set you on a path? Strange. Who's on which path now? And now I'm confused. He's going top left. He's going bottom left. Did I not? I would have sworn I sent someone down here. That's not. Hmm. Four. Oh. We'll have to wait. Alright, supports, clearable blockers, okay. Construction complete. One twenty six. All right. Oh, dang. Research speed in propulsion. Oh, yeah, it's very, very niche. More, more minerals, really. We just took out a lot of our minerals. Shipyard's about to have another unpiloted researcher. Alright, let's boop it real quick. Not a whole lot we can do right now. Anomaly found. Sweet. Radiating asteroid. 8FV-97 periodically spews an alarming electric, electric mix of particles and radiation into the void. Holy crapola. The current scientist finds this anomaly very hard. So the anomaly will take 1,200... Wow. I mean, hell yeah, dude. Still take the same amount of time, so. 189, still not enough on the. Hmm. Is he 
doing an anomaly? Investigating. Okay, cool. Where's he at? Okay. And that's fine, because, I mean, that's further away, so he's going to research here and then move over, so... Chill with that. 189... Pausing it? It is pausing it. Okay, cool. Terraforming candidate discovered. Bernard Star 4. We'll be able to be terraformed once the climate restoration technology has been researched. Our detailed survey of Bernard Star 4 has been revealed that it may once have supported life in the distant past. There are significant deposits of frozen water on the polar ice caps and beneath the planet's surface. The existence of valley networks suggests that the water may have once have flowed freely. Terraforming this planet would theoretically be possible, but we do not yet possess the technology to accomplish this monumental task within a realistic time frame. Fascinating. All right, 254. Okay, I have enough for these two. Oops. Well, talk about options. Jeez, dude. Because for some reason, this didn't get searched. Or did it? No, not fully. How strange. That's where they're getting you. They make the unity cost hellas. Oof. Which I mean, again, isn't a problem, but I just can't move on getting a new scientist. That's fine, because I just got another ship piloted, so I mean, that's a whole other research vessel going. Construction ship. Uh, look at. I already got him lined up. Alright, cool. Okay, that anomaly. I'm like, why is he getting Construction a complete. Construction complete. 254. So I need 300 mineral and I need 200 units. System survey complete. Nice. Huh. One single alloy, dang. Sad little moon. A whole station for one, too, actually. That's kind of... Kind of meh. Oh, because it's not fully surveyed yet. Oh, I was like, which one did we get then? Duh. Okay. I have enough. Yes. Okay. Oh, we have a two positive population now. Except before I've run into issues where it looks like it's good and then it's not later. So I'm going to make sure that that is... Oh, oh, because I built one of them. I'm a nerd. That's why it has the positive two. Yeah, I did that. Oh, nope. It's just D-pad still. All right. So first things first is we need to produce the stuff to change. No. Artisans turn this into consumer minerals into consumer goods. Consumer goods into unity and amenities. Okay. So then that means 
Civilian industries. Yep. Just barely enough. So it leaves 12. There. Okay, so that, I have four vessels. Four research vessels. But I can't even put a dude into the one pilot seat. So I'm going to hold off for now. Yep, built it, but I can't, I can't, I can't man them. Whoa. The discovery of alien life. I'm so conscientious, or so concerned if it pauses. It, it does, though. It has been, at least. The ISS Joaquin Qua has made a startling find on Series 3. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate on Lush. This amazing discovery has silenced those who believe we were alone in the universe. Although none of the alien creatures found on Sirius 3 are sapient, it is likely only a matter of time before we encounter beings that are. We may not be alone out here. Okay, 231 Unity, that's enough to get that ship manned. Helmed. To get that ship there helmed. 25 years in your life. I mean, you're an older an older dude. Anomaly research speed plus 35%. Alright, well, I know where I'm sending you next. Can I trade you out? Can't remove a leader on a research mission. Ah, oh, you suck. Then you're gonna keep surveying the system then. Research speed, yep. No, pause. Okay. Is it pause? Gosh. The Council of Galactic Mushy is abuzz with news of alien organisms discovered some time ago. These little evolutionary marvels kindle in a fly agaric people a renewed hope of first contact with an intelligent being. Intriguing. First contact protocols. Our recent encounter with alien life forms have reignited and made suddenly more urgent the old debate on how we should approach contacting any potentially intelligent alien citizens that we may meet. While some advocate focusing on establishing friendly relations as quickly as possible by contacting them with a message of peace, others advise caution, pointing out that we cannot know whether alien minds bear ill intent towards us, and that it would not be unwise to let them know too much about us before it is necessary. No! We shall greet the Xeno with open arms. They're already so far into it, I should almost not have them cancel their... Hmm. That one dude's gonna cut it down, but is getting him to cancel it, is it gonna, like, deactivate the progress I've made on it? Oh, 
Oh my gosh, 68%. I just get you to cease your research here. Uh-oh. Well, I just deleted his... Alas. Kind of sucks. All right, there you go. Oh, whoa, those suns are really close. I'll let it be for now, only because uh, I can't build anything anywhere else, anyways. Okay, minerals, 200. We need three to 400 for that, so. We should save. Industries right around the corner. All right, and I will luxury. No. Three forty, and I have three thirty nine. Yard. I don't think I need anything else. Not currently. Upgrade. Really? Wow. It takes a lot. If anything, the buildings are more worth it. Cool. Okay. Oh, that's right. This is all it takes to get rid of the planetary blockers. Unlock specific algae tracks. Unlocks deli sprawl. Pop is created. 300 power. Oh, we have 2k. Could do 369. Okay, so I'm going to queue them up knowing I won't even need to use all that energy right off the bat. Well, hopefully not. 
max generator. So this one, this one, this one. Oh, it does invest it. It does actually invest that energy there, even if it's not used yet. All right, well, cool. Oops, could have done that a little bit sooner. What will replace them, though, isn't really going to get benefited yet. So even though I'm re removing blockers, I'm not going to be able to put anything on those blo unblocked. So, good there. Good there. We're not getting attacked by anyone. If anything, I need to build a colony ship and get another place built ASAP. Oh, wait. I need at least... Oh, wait. I can only have so many star yards. I need to be picky about which ones. Oh, God. I have five ways into my place. Well, I know the exact places I'm going to have to build my star yards then. I have to cut off every way you can get into me by at least one jump point. And seeing as that's five, that's all five right there. So that's kind of puts me in a pickle. Oh, and I'm already using one. So no, I'm in a quite the pickle. Unless we can cut them off elsewhere. One, two, three, four, five. No, there's, there's no way other than straight blocking them. So... Where's that research at? Jeez, it's almost there. Lush is good. Shipyard is good. Military fleet's sitting. These guys are all doing their thing. Idle. How do I know if I've discovered it all? Oh shoot, Bernard Star is actually looking better. Mining station. Build star base. Wow, he, he got pushed back and forth a little bit, but that's okay. Minerals and power, and some alloy doesn't hurt. Okay. Cool. So, we're looking square. Just need to progress a little bit of time. System survey complete. The first league. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient... <laughs> from an ancient alien civilization on 4-076. If what we have learned from these ancients is correct. This civilization was some sort of confederation that consisted of many different alien races. They called themselves the First League, and appear to have coexisted in relative peace some two million years ago. Though the Ego... Egoiki... Egoiki system lies in the region of space that seems to have made it the core of their territory. A partial map found among the artifacts indicates that this is that this first league may have conquer, covered a significant portion of our galaxy before its eventual collapse. Situation Interesting. Log updated. Do they have an issue? Is that housing? Four twenty five, sixty four, so I only that's me. Just me. Thank you, love. That's actually not what I wanted, but...
195. It's probably like 250 now then. My Unity's needs for another scientist. Contact report, remnants. Intelligent life taunts with pointed absence, reads a popular news set. Newsnet post on Lush. The people of the Council of Galactic Mushy are apparently finding some humor in the fact that lower forms of alien life are now a matter of public record, but potential equals from other stars continue to elude us. The reports of the the report on the traces of alien life that were recently found seemingly only add an ironic twist to the situation. Alpha Centauri has been fully surveyed. Oh, okay. Well, there's th there is that now. Good. 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 Actually, feeling really good about this save so far. Oops. Yeah, that's whatever. Okay. Live cap was elected on a platform considering two agricultural districts. Oh. Well, well, we'll see about that. Gained a level. System survey complete. Dang. That's all that's in here is three energy, and this is the very special thing. Well, that's a pretty ass thing. Survey complete. So far, so good. All right. Science shifts. Oh, but one is going to be the anomaly researcher, so maybe I do go ahead and. Nah, but I will do another construction ship. Can I queue this afterwards? How much? Yeah, I sure can. I don't know if I need that science ship. I'll, I'll, I'll debate it more as I, as I continue to progress. Military fleets.
Alright. Yeah. Oh, damn. Can I... Oh, does it let you know the other ones? Okay. That's pretty good. If we do not impose our will on others, they will inevitably impose theirs on us. Pop housing usage. I think that's the next one I'm going to go for. Unlocks edict map the stars. Anomaly research speed increased by 20%. Oh man. I'll do discovery and then adaptability. Just mostly because this playthrough right here has that giant ass anomaly that needs to be researched. And I mean, if it's going to take that long, surely it's going to be good. So. Okay. 272, 425, alright. Anomaly found. Yes. Okay, see, good thing I have more scientists. Research time 79, that's not bad. Oh, and I think he has a survey bonus. Construction complete. Found an anomaly. Okay, cool. I know who's doing it now. Construction complete. Awesome. And gained a level. Okay, so... Some after the minerals. Build mining. Build mining. Alien Riding adds that thingy plus three to him. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of riding on the surface of this planet. Fajinayad. Fajinayad. C11. The massive script covers a large portion of the planet's upper hemisphere. It appears to be a short story chrono... Uh, chron chronic? Chronicling. 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 The difficulty alien. The difficult life of an alien mercenary. That's funny. We are short on food. Aww. 
All right, turns minerals into consumer goods. Turns consumer goods into unity. How much is it? Cost like how many consumer goods per unity? Is that four for twelve unity? That's good though, because that means it's going to produce hella unity there. Approximate job produces eighteen. That's good. That's good. Now I'm getting the math here. Four, eight, twelve. Oh wow! Wow. Okay. Resource. Nope. Hi, not you, good girl. You're fine. You're a good girl. You okay? Yeah, it's a good girl. Yeah. Wink. Okay. So, removing blockers. Getting food going. I should almost reorder. Because I need the food before I can. I can't. I don't need these if I need this. Not yet, at least. Okay. Share. Share, share, share. I'm starting to dip into my food right now, which isn't good. It's in the bedroom. Sorry. Right this sec. Oh, it's construction, not a freaking. What am I thinking? just almost aren't worth it, so yeah. Stick with that. Was unable to build a mining station. Sources have been refunded. System survey complete. Oops. Bernard Star. System survey complete. Oh, chill. chain those then. I was wondering, it spent more money than I had. That's cute.
Oh, it's already researched all the way? Oh man, really? I'm having some really lackluster solar systems over here. Oh. We might have a choke point after all. This might be the ultimate choke point because you can't get past, uh... Yeah. Same deal, so that's one, two, three, four. So it's only one less, but it's at least a really big turf that I can keep sectioned off, so. Thirty-five. Unity is pretty good right now, but... And then soon I'll need to be making more diplomacy, however I do that. Claims, outposts. Power projection gets up to two influence depending on how many ships you have compared to your empire size. Claims? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. Okay. So, everyone's got a new objective. Lush is doing as good as we can. Okay. Fully surveyed. Yep, yep, yep. Fully surveyed. Yep. Damn, he threw himself into that Construction corner. Construction complete. See, I can see my pause bar down there. Sometimes it shows up, like, clear. Anomaly. Did I find it? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found it. Oh, awesome. It's a wee bab. It's also only level two, though. So, I mean, no complaints. Oh, oh, oh. What do we got? Construction complete. The leader's gained a level. Sweet. He's found an anomaly, and that's what he's doing currently. Cool, I have enough. Okay. I like the layout of the, like, the arms from the solar lanes. I like the solar lanes. I'd be vibing. I think I like them right now. We'll see later. <laughs> cool. I would have sworn there was something that helped. These produce. That's why it's so big, because so many things use that. This is four, four, eight. Okay, yeah. Increases crime and spawns defense armies. Approximate jobs produce minus 50 crime, two of those and four of those. Defense, yeah. Upkeep. Aloe foundries. Literally just turn minerals into alloys. Produce. Oh, absolutely, yeah. We'll do one research lab ASAP. Clerks produce trade value and amenities. Oh, wow. What 
plus 16. Oh, happiness. Okay, I'm like, what is that? So we still need more minerals. We need more food too, most importantly. Construction complete. Level up. Level up. Approaching Anastasia 1, Anastasia? Anastasia 1, the ISS Algo suddenly received a glancing hit by several passing mass driver rounds. The projectiles were billions of years old, and based on their trajectory, they appear to be stray rounds fired from a neighboring galaxy. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for untold millennia until today. The rounds we have recovered are an advanced design despite their incredible age. Incredible! Yeah! We have enough unity to adopt nutrition. Yeah, see, that was my fear, is that uh, y this is all for unity. So unity and something else is I gotta really capitalize on. And these are all good, but I need the starter. It's almost the better to get these... Clear blockers. Trade protection. Pop food upkeep. Oh man, really? Versus clear blocker. Um. Okay, well I only have one plant with blockers, so it's kind of a two and one. The more I have later, the less need I need it. Food upkeep and mineral upkeep. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty stellar. And especially right off the bat, I can get used to that. Locker cost, though. Nah, because that's a slow burn. We need the instant benefit of. Oh, that's right. You can pick fucking ascension perks. Oops. They're locked, but. One twelve, I have just enough. Construction complete. Eh, yeah, just have to chill down there, we don't have the funds. We don't got the muns, Hans, you're gonna have to chill. Yeah, and see, that stuff's already t more than halfway done, so it'd be almost silly to do that. Construction complete. Man, we could, uh, we could definitely use some more minerals. Crapola. Oh, he's almost done with that, oh my gosh! Have to build a star base down there, so I don't know what I just tried to multi select or how that works, but hopefully, I didn't fuck anything up. Ss Ju J U finds a disturbing 
tangle of technology hidden in a deep crater on the asteroid surface. Evidently, someone has, with rather simple means, managed to stabilize a one-way wormhole. And science officer Hoga... 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 Quickly asserts that the asteroid is the exit point. The other end opens up somewhere in uncharted space, some light years away from a black hole, and other quantities of dark matter are leaking, being siphoned through the wormhole. Whoever set this up seems to have abandoned the operation. Dark matter deposit found. Cool. I bet you this is that, that thing that took forever to research then. Yep, BF. No, this is now. Oh, dark matter. Yes, it is that. The ISS... Jew has discovered a previously unknown strategic resource on 8FV-97, dubbed Dark Matter. This exotic substance has many properties that seemingly defy several natural laws. It could potentially revolutionize the sciences. We do not yet possess the means to extract this resource. We should, con we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. Oh, we definitely, we definitely will be. Survey. Okay, and then construction. System survey complete. It over there? Dang, man. Very small amounts of resources here. Almost have gotten rid of all of the blockers, dude. That's freaking awesome. Is that two bonus free district slots? Maybe so. 255. Oh, we're bouncing back. Heck yeah, dude. Still not gonna have enough monies. That's okay, though. Slowly getting more. up real quick. Alright, cool. And she's over there. Ready to rock and roll. Anomaly found. Oh, perfect. Perfect! Is that even worth it? 
how much is that gonna upkeep? It's one alloy for one energy use. That's almost not worth it. Especially when the ships that those alloys are gonna be making would just be sucking up as much energy as they can be, so. We'll just move him there, get him going. Not an anomaly. Dude, another one? Hell yeah. Okay. to starport. Oh, I'm a goober. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's good then. Means we can have a lot more turf without having to make them, like, all capitals. So, or using the... Oh, I just said it. Starbase. Okay. To a star port. Ooh, Lordy. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, construction ships, science ships. Construction complete. Yes, geothermal fracking. And I was really hurting for it, now I'm not going to be. Yes. I think I know which one I'm going to pick. Mining subsidies. The edict is supposed to... The edict, the edict is a focused administrative effort to reprioritize and reevaluate production goals, yielding a boost to mining output. Last until cancelled. Ooh. Mineral purification plants. Let's try that. Oh, it's over there. I thought it was the bar on the left side. Their their experience bar. I was like, wow, they've barely researched them. What happened? And it's actually over there. They're almost done on one of them. I mean eight months. Cool. So I got a construction ship going that way. Gosh, I could almost use another research ship. Got three exploring and you got one... Okay. 
216 on minerals. Which is the 255? Yep, we're already having population issues. We'll get that queued up next. I don't know where to send them. Try not to have them do a bunch of back and forth, but at the same time, I don't actually need a bunch of construction shit. I mean, I only have two. I'm just gonna send them over here. Oh wait, no, hold on. Oh, it does take. Yeah, so... They still require to be upgraded, so it takes 200 alloy. So upgrading them doesn't take anything. Putting them down in the first place does. Okay, so there is still a stipulation. So it takes influence to build a star base, and it only takes alloys to build a star port. So, okay. because of a lack of better placement anywhere else. It'll do. Ah, that's sharp. Two sixteen, so I'm still mostly the same on cash. Alright. Complete the destruction. Okay. Ooh, the color of science. For 50 years, giving the following effects monthly unity plus 10%. Oh my gosh, yes! The cause of solar radiation resonates observed around the corona of B. Turned out to be an unusual crystal formation capable of enduring the heat. Having brought the crystals aboard, a scientists were startled to realize that the strange resonance was reduce, re reproducible. First, they exposed the crystals to the same solar radiation from B, producing an identical result to the initial recorded, recorded phenomenon. It also seemed to create resonance with all energy waves we sent through it, forming new colors and sounds never before observed by Mushi. Mushy. Some frequencies could change the way we view the universe. Exactly. They're hinting at it. Alternatively, we can develop research applications for a crystalline structure capable of surviving the intense heat of a star. Oh, oh, whoa. Tech progress gained. Oh, progress versus resonating music and art modifier added for 50 years. I think that's better, so hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. System survey complete.
150 and 90, I can do that. Three hundo, 425. Let's hit that market up. Yeah, because I got plenty of energy still. So, we need more minerals. I'm going to sell... No. Oh, no. I'm a dork. I'm going to buy minerals with energy. I'm a goober. Goober! What are you k Yeah, I'm going to buy... As soon as it hits me to 2k. Really? No, but I will just sit with that much. Okay. I just fucked the entire market too. How much did it bump it up? Ooh, dang. Oh, dude, I should have bought a bigger deal. I was only buying... <sighs> Oops. Oh, well. It is what it is now. Okay. I leave 659 left too. This one is five happiness, five amenities. doesn't make sense. Population of 35 and there are only five jobs available. There's more than one slot. Okay, okay. Four, five. So I only have five more slots open, actually. Amenities. Available amenities. That's not housing? Oh my god, I messed up. I have 12 extra housing. How did I goof that up? I need to produce amenities, oh my gosh. something that just makes amenities oh my gosh yeah hollow theater is where it's at so 16 amenity versus Four? That's mostly for trade value then. We're at 47. Yeah, nope. Not commercial zone. Hollow theater it is. Okay, well. Minor mistake. Or potentially very poorly curbed. But I mean, I got it. I got it saved before it, uh detrimented me. Alright, so... I got the monies, though. I'm gonna save that one slot open. Slots can be unlocked by building city district or upgrading the planetary administration. Oh, okay, so I do want more of that then. Oh, and it does produce clerks? Okay, well, it's going to be runner-up then. Oh, 
Oh, traveling too. Two fifty. Barely have enough. All right, mindful. Anomaly discovery chance plus five. Archaeology. Archaeology. Archaeol. Archaeol. Oh no. Archaeology. Yeah, archaeology. Ja, da, dude. Couldn't even say it, dude. They both are mindful. Who's younger? Wow, you're 28. Holy shit. Awesome. All right, now here we go north. That's not north. Go up, right. Could almost still use one more. One, two, three, four, and one is searching an anomaly. Researching an anomaly. Hmm. Wait, colony ship takes how much? Does it take population? No, it doesn't. Okay. Shipyard. Oh man, I'm hungry. Holy crap. Super hungry. Okay. Ooh! Habitable world survey! We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Lush. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on, hab on habitable life-bearing worlds. Wait, what? Yeah. Situation log updated. System survey complete. Dang. No crime. 12 available. We're getting that solved. Complete. 
<laughs> it looks like the ship's going sideways as it travels. Anomaly Yo. found. Yes! Yes! Oh, more guard too. Life signs have been detected coming from inside the atmosphere of this gas giant. Could it indicate the presence of some kind of biosphere? Sweet teat, yaw. Oh, the station will be able to feed itself and even export excess produces. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Ground defense planning. Hell yeah. I don't need it right now, but that's good for later. Grants a lump sum of unity. Monthly unity is plus 5%. That is great. Off-world trading company. I'm going to stick with this one. Or choose that one. 13 months. Oh, survey. That's right. I mean, um, anomaly. 232. Those are being built. I mean, really. Ideally. I wonder if you can do four crew quarters to make it cost minus 100% upkeep. So there's like, they literally cost you nothing while they're there. Anomaly found. Probably find them left and right. Routine. Minus one level, so the anomaly will take 60 more days than normal. That's not that bad, actually. Construction complete. Anomaly. Construction. A star base. Nice. Good, good, good. Gosh, we're kind of, that planet's half dead. the most amount of energy. I'm not worried about that right yet. Is there an, another resource that I didn't select? Oh, yeah, this over here. Honestly, right now, he can just chill right there. Can I bring him back to my base and have him less... Use less upkeep, I think.
into orbit. A atmospheric ecosystem. We have discovered a thriving ecosystem in the upper atmosphere of the gas giant Morgard II. Massive floating creatures, having evolved bodies filled with lighter-than-air gases, follow the wind currents and feed off the energy released from the gas giant's frequent lightning storms. These beings, in turn, support colonies of smaller animals that prey on atmospheric plankton and other and each other. Fascinating. All right. Let's see. Anomaly found. Dang! I ain't even upset about it. An abandoned ship has been left to drift aimlessly above this moon. The massive sails protruding from its hull suggest that it relied on solar power to function. Alright. Negatives are getting attended. plus four. Okay, so yeah, that is important. But again, you can still definitely hold off. Trade hub. Uh, what's this? Oh, collection range. That's right. All right. Try to somewhat to organize them in sequence. Hmm. Silicone life forms. Some kind of burrowing silicone-based life forms inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Srudma 4. At best as well we can tell, as best as we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks and there is evidence to suggest they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunneling efforts have shuffled Their tunneling efforts have shuffled large amounts of valuable mineral to the surface. Fuck yeah. System survey complete. Anomaly complete. You can select multiple ones in one category. Are you fucking serious? Dang. So we're producing 25. I mean, Unity is really, really good, but I mean, I'm, I'm getting a good amount of it, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I probably will just keep the scientist. Yeah, you can favorite each section. What? What? I didn't fucking know that.
And then what does the city district do again? It opens up more. Oh, bottom, bottom ones, yeah. Is it paused? I can't tell. Okay, it's paused. Solar Sailor. We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Cantharum 2A. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails is a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely an asteroid, a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. An interesting, albeit primitive design. An interesting, albeit primitive design. System survey complete. Okay. discovering all that, so I mean, what I think, however I think they're going to go, I mean, they're both at the edge, oh, oh, when I look at it like that, hmm. I like my area better. Oh, lordy. Ugh. Probably gonna wrap it up near nine here in just a little bit. Get a nice little five hours in. A good chunk of this game. It's fucking what a save started to, dude. So, where am I trying to go with them? I'll just I'll send them there and we'll go from there. Awesome. We're already not having issues with um, um, amenities now. We're eight positive. Not only we're we not negative, we're eight positive. Let's go. We have made first contact with an unknown entity. Entity. Enigmat enigmatic spacefarers. The Council of Galactic Mushy have finally encountered fellow wanderers among the stars. Despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile, the atmosphere on Lush following the report from our contact fleet has, can best be described as rapturous. Intriguing. Ta aliens. Ta aliens, cool. We have made first contact with the mysterious aliens of the Asmor system. For now, we have codenamed them Ta aliens until we can find out more about them. If they possess a language, we must decipher it in order to establish communication. I can rename them, that's right. Okay, yep, and I'm crap ton of unity as well. I think that's my second highest producing. Nah, it's third, it's just barely not. No, there's other high ones up there, but still, unity's good, unity's good. And I know I saw one over here. Oh, it was pop housing, even though I've already got that kind of corrected, so not too bad. Dip diplomatic grants, diplomatic influence costs reduced by 50. Well, hot damn. 
Adopting all expansions. Now hold on. Colony development speed. Uh. Hmm. I need the most immediate benefits. I'm all after benefits right now. So. I would do this one and then that one. Yep, yep. I need to start selecting some of those. I have a bunch of them picked, but not actually furthered. There we go, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, oops. Kingorg, Igor, or Shablegum. Cindy Gordon. Ooh, but no, he's got a purple cat. Search complete. Nice. Energy credits from technicians plus twenty. Energy from starbase constructions. That's pretty damn good. I mean, yeah, no, that's pretty dang good. That's, yeah. Construction complete. <laughs> so I am wrapping up right now. Sadly. Some good ones over here past this one. Seventy-five, ninety. really should get it locked in early. Anomaly found. Well, sweet tea. Oh, bro, hell yeah, he's gonna get that done in no time. Nice. Oh, yeah, his name is Cap, so he's the enlightened Cap. <laughs> My own little jokes. Oh, 
and solar sails, we have found the wreckage of an archaic spaceship of unusual design. Instead of using propulsion similar to that of modern ships, the craft relied on large sails unfurled in the vacuum of space. Presumably, the ship harvested solar energy and drifted off the solar winds created by starlight. We should dig deeper. We have discovered a new archaeological site! Anomaly found. Oh my god, dude, heck yeah! System survey complete. Sweet teat. Why is the music bumping? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and call that good. Wrap up here. Call it a night on streaming. All that jazz. Anyone that stopped by though, I super appreciate you. Thanks for swinging by and checking out my goof ass playing this game. It's been a hot minute, but uh, only a little rusty, luckily. If you missed any of this stream or any past streams, you can always hop over to my YouTube channel where I put up all previous spots. Uh, I am attempting on getting more airsofting videos up as well. And that's about a wrap. I don't know if I have enough to raid. Not really. I don't know if, uh, quite if it's the four or if it's the two. But all the same, I hope you guys have a good night. This is Spetsnaz Taz, signing off.